What's up, man? It's your boy Jambi Juvie. I just skipped class with the progress report. Got the progress report. All right, what's going on? It's your girl Lala Shepherd, man. This is a new episode of Skipping Class presented by the Progress Report, man. We got JMB Juvie in the building. What, boy? How you feeling? Chilling. For sure, but you look like you're chilling right now, man. Hungry. Okay. Well, let everybody know who who you are and what you do. I'm JMB Juvie. All right. For sure. Definitely, man. Um, we know you had a, a, a couple of, you know, moments on IG, several, or not just on IG, but TikTok as well, where you went viral, people seeing your music and all that good stuff. But at what point did you get into music where you was just like, I want to become an artist? Um, I was like 13. I didn't really take it serious until I was like 17. That was gotcha. my first time going viral. For sure. What made you start taking it serious then? Um... I kept going back and forth to jail, and they kept telling me, like, bro, why you, why you keep coming in here with it, and you'll get out, and you ain't doing it. So I had to show them. I had to show them. I know, that's right. Um, well, first, let's talk about how much talent is it in jail? Too much. Crazy. It's way too much. Yeah, you ain't lying there. Crazy, man. Um, well, what made you start actually like doing music in jail? Like where you was like, you know what I mean? When you was just like, shit, let me just start just, you know, just saying I just, how I feel. I seen other people doing it pretty much. You know what I'm saying? I seen other, I mean, it ain't nothing else to do. So why not try it? So then my, I'm starting to sound better than the people who are doing it. So mm. now they boosting me to do it. So now I'm, I'm the one. Say that. Say that, man. Um, shit, bless. So how much time did you do? Uh, I did two years. Okay. Two years. Now, what was your biggest learning lesson, you know, from that experience? Um, don't go back. Now I'm just playing. Um, it's 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 more to like than just uh, just really just getting in trouble. You feel what I'm saying? Moving around, doing dumb shit. You can stay out here, be positive, and still have fun. You feel me? Nah, for sure. Um, what was the first thing you did on your first day out? <laughs> what the fuck did I do? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, shout out to the first day out. Y'all know exactly what I did. What you do? Uh, got some cheats. Okay. <laughs> when it, it beat some doonies. <laughs> For sure. Nah, nah, no cap. Nah, no cap. Got some cheats. I ain't smoked weed in a long time. I hit the blunt. Mm. I just buy it. PPP was hitting, so you know. Everybody was I was loving. rich. Yep. <laughs> it was hell. For sure. What was your first meal? Do you remember? My first deal? Meal. Meal. It was Chick-fil-A. <sighs> oh, God. They just need to sponsor you at this yeah, point. Yeah, at this point. At this point, man. Man. For sure, man. Well, Give shit. me that wicked sauce. That man. should be bad. That'll be yeah. hard. Well, you know, welcome home. And shit, I hope you stay out, man. Appreciate it. Hell yeah. Um, now talk about some of those adjustments, like, you know, some of the, the biggest adjustments, just like lifestyle-wise, when you, you know, getting readjusted to just being outside. Um, I mean, it was always easy for me. I'm, I'm easy, uh, I'm easy to adjust. Like, I'm, I can, if I go to jail right now, I'd be, i just peep the scene, mm. do what I gotta do. Yeah, I wouldn't never one of them niggas go to jail for a year, come back wearing 90s clothes. You know what I'm saying? I'm always going to be with the trend. I'm going to know what's going on because I'm going to be watching. I'm mm. be listening. For sure. Uh, so where are you from? I'm from Wake Rock, Georgia. Man. So tell me, why is that? Cons- why or why not is that considered Atlanta? Is it considered Atlanta? Why it's, or why, why it's not, not? It's not considered Atlanta because I'm four hours away. Mm. Huh. It's definitely not Atlanta. How's it, it, how's it different? That shit country, man. But that's my city, though. I love my city. Sure. That shit country, yeah. What you mean by country, though? Describe it. Trees, mm. birds, squirrels. They everywhere. <laughs> For right. sure. Was you uh, coming to Atlanta, though, often? Uh, I moved to Atlanta. I had moved to Atlanta um, after I got signed. Mm. And then I, I moved to New York. Moving to New York? Yeah, I had moved to New York. 
Well, talk about that, the differences in like the lifestyle. Was it, um, did you like it? Um, New York, it was fast, yeah, I still like it. I like it, I, I'm ready to come home though. Mm. Why you move out there? Why I did? Um, personal issues, man. I just had to go get my hair right. I respect that. I respect that, man. Yes. Um, now talk about using social media to your advantage, you know, and going viral, which, did that lead to your record deal? Yeah, it definitely did. Okay, so talk about that. Um, I mean, I ain't know I was going, I ain't know that shit was going to go viral. I just did it. I mean, it was a hot ass song, man. Who, you feel what I'm saying? Shit, fine. I did it, I just recorded it, and I just posted it on Facebook. Somebody took it off Facebook, put it on TikTok. Mm. And when they did that, somebody put up on like, bro, you know you're on TikTok. I'm like, I don't know what the fuck, what the fuck is a TikTok? <laughs> Real shit, so he showed me, like, bro, you up four million in 24 hours. Mm. I'm like, damn, like, I need to make a TikTok. So I made the TikTok, and I just went going crazy. Respect, man. So you are assigned to Alamo. So talk about like when did you learn that they was interested in in, in you, and when did you decide like I'm gonna go ahead and sign with them? Um, Jacob, when the A and hit me up while I was in prison, Shit. He hit me up while I was in prison. He was just really checking on me like, what other music do I got going on? Do I got anything? I was telling him, like, yeah, I got a mixtape I want to drop when I come home. Mm. Then uh, a couple mother labels hit me up, and I kept it pushing. I kept dropping my music, kept dropping. And you know, round about, I got out that April and August is when I signed the deal in August. Yeah. So I signed the deal in Alamo. For sure, man. Congratulations on that. Appreciate it. Um, now, what are some of the differences that you notice from being signed versus being independent? Stay independent, little bro. <laughs> she knows what to say. Stay independent. It's good being signed. You feel what I'm saying? Come with this perch, this on and all. You feel what I'm saying? But you'll see all your money. Hmm. You feel what I'm saying? That's pretty much what I got to say. You'll see all your money. I ain't nothing else to be said about it. Go independent. Stay independent. Respect that, man. Hmm. Um, what was the biggest sacrifice that you feel like you had to make, make to become like a full-time artist? I ain't had no job since I was out of the chain game. Hmm. I ain't had one job. That was two and a half years ago. I mean, you know, you be up sometimes, you be down sometimes, but you still got to keep pushing it. You feel what I'm saying? Facts. You know what I'm saying? You just can't give up. For sure. Uh, now, I know you got a project coming out later this month, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, first, let's talk about the artwork, because I know you teased it on your IG. It's called Long Way From Home. Yeah, facts. Long let's talk about home. that artwork. Artwork, I don't even know who the fuck did that. Honestly, that shit fight though. It just, I got a lot of pictures up there of my brothers, my people, me, gotcha. my nephew. Mm. You know what I'm saying? A couple of people I was kicking it with. You feel what I'm saying? But they all back home. You feel me? For sure. Why that title? Because I moved up here. I moved, when I moved up here, it was just, when I moved up there, it was real, it was different as hell. And mm. I mean, I'm fucking 700 miles away from. Wake Cross, Georgia. It's different. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So the music that the shit that I speak on gonna be different. You feel what I'm saying? The people that I be around gonna be different. Mm. Cause all type of action and characteristics gonna be different. So I just wanted them to know. I'm just and then like the uh why you call that shit? Um Damn. All my mix tapes, they mm. like in order. I got from the cell to the streets, from the streets to the stage, you feel what I'm saying? Used to the pain and a long way from home. And For then sure. it's the fourth one, so I did Long Way From Home. Got you. I was wondering why you spelled it like that, but okay, mm -hmm. it makes sense. I like the theme. Um, now talk about linking with Anti the Menace, man. He probably like the hottest young nigga in the streets right now. Oh yeah, facts. I fuck with him, bro. He go crazy, he go crazy. Talk yeah. about the energy at the video shooting and at the studio when y'all oh. recorded that joint y'all got. Everything was live, man. Oh no, nah, we did the stu we did the um what you call it? They sent the label sent it over to him. Got you. Gonna say? He sent it back ASAP, though. He sent it back ASAP. I know he was fucking with the shit. He told me he was fucking with that video shoot some shit. We going crazy. As a matter of fact, shit, we finna shoot some shit. But mm. I, I didn't say the same song. For sure. Hell yeah. Then talk about working with Fredo Bang. Oh, yeah, that's real. I fuck with, bro. He, uh, he really a smart ass nigga. He, he, he smart. Quiet, but he's smart, though. I like him. Mm. He cool, though. He cool. Who's some people, some other artists that you, you know, came up listening to? 
that you was a fan of? Kevin Gates. Mm. Real nigga. What you think about some of the stuff he be saying online where it be going viral, man? He be saying a lot of stuff. That's yeah, slow, that retarded shit. Just everything I'm he said. <laughs> I feel him. I ain't mad at him. For sure. I understand you. Nah, respect, man. <laughs> <laughs> Say that. Oh, so, man, for people who ain't tapped in with you yet, why should they listen to you? You said they ain't tapped in with me if yet? If they ain't tapped in with you yet, why should they tap why in? Why should they tap in? Yeah. I don't know, man. I'm really underrated, but it is what it is. You feel what I'm saying? Everybody time gonna come. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? God's will. I ain't mad at you, God. Because once you do listen to it, once you do tap in, you're like, damn, I should have been on this shit. You know what I'm saying? You know when you get the car in the aux, when you mm. get the, the aux in the car, mm. somebody play a song, you be wishing you would have played that motherfucker. Yeah, be right there. <laughs> yeah, <I laughs> Say that. Be. Say that, man. Why you feel underrated, though? Why? Yeah. I don't know, it's just I go through a lot of shit on my own, mm. by myself. So I, I feel like a lot of shit that I say fall on deaf ears. Mm. But it's all right, because like I said, your time will come. That's facts. That's facts, man. Um, so our show is called The Progress Support. How do you feel like you progress lately as a person? As a person? Yeah. I got a little A-plus, man. Yeah, A-plus, man. I've been doing real good lately, man. Mm. I'm a better person what I used to be last year. How so? How so? Yeah. I don't know, I'm more, I'm more of a loner and you feel what I'm saying, make sure I'm straight. And you feel what I'm saying, before I try to make sure a hundred people around me straight now. You mm. know what I'm saying? So yeah, like, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna make sure I got me. That's the first thing you gotta do. I gotta make sure I got me before I can hand it out and give out handouts and do this and do that. You feel what I'm saying? Even though I still do show love, but I gotta make sure I'm straight. Period. Facts. So what's next, man? I know we got the project dropping at the end of the month. What well, next? Shit. You gonna see me on the billboard real quick. Hmm. Real soon. I'm going hard, all 2023. Time this for that. This shit hitting, I ain't even gonna lie. <laughs> you making me want some. For real. Oh, that's your phone. I was about to say, man, who ain't put their phone on silent, man? At least uh -huh. it's your phone. <laughs> so. Babe, you hold this? <laughs> Appreciate that. I like the matching outfits, so that's tight. You seen us? That's tight. I like that. That's hard. What's your message to your fans right now, man? Um, keep going, man. Keep striving. Do what you gotta do. Get out, man. Um, outlast what's going on, mm. but still be relevant. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? I dig that. Where nigga shit, boy. So, well, well, last thought about being relevant, man. What you think about these artists buying the blue check? <laughs> I don't even want mine no more. You can have mine, shit. You could have had me for mine. I would have <laughs> gave it to you. Say that. Shit. <laughs> so, man, well, I like your energy, man. You got real good energy. Um, come on, y'all. You got real good energy, man. But uh, definitely want to see you keep going up, man. Stay focused. Um, and shit, until the next time, man, thank you for skipping class with us. Appreciate that. Got it. Show. The Progress Report.